you don't own me Don't try to change me in any way You don't own me Don't tie me down cause I'll never stay From peaking at number two on Billboard to becoming a powering song to women and also representing the Me Too movement, the song You Don't Owe Me by the late great Leslie Gore became a national anthem for individuality and independence. Leslie Gore, born in 1946, May 2nd in Brooklyn, New York, Leslie grew up in Tennessee, New Jersey and discovered at 16 by music producer Quincy Jones. Leslie, her piano player, recorded demos and through an agent, Quincy Jones listened to them and soon called Gord and began recording. Prior to You Don't Owe Me, Leslie Gord's first single released in 1963 titled It's My Party and I Cry If I Want To. Shortly after, Leslie Gord became an overnight sensation instantly. 1963, You Don't Owe Me released and soon became a sensational hit. The song was written by songwriters John Medora and David White. The song became an inspiration for women, specifically the younger crowd. Nevertheless, for women, one of the critical sparks for the second wave in the feminist movement. The song voiced that women are not objects that men can possess and control. Lizzie Gore stating, Feminism wasn't quite a going proposition yet. Some people talk about it, but it wasn't in any kind of state at that time. Lizzie Gore herself identified as a lesbian an activist fighting for LGBTQ and women's rights. First volunteering for Robert Kennedy's campaign and meeting her mentor, a leader in the women's rights movement, Bella Abzug. Gore claiming that Abzug changed her approach to activism. She kind of mentored me as to what's important for women and where to put my energies in terms of gay women and what I could do best to help women in our community and children. Leslie Gore did not come out until 2004 when she hosted the PBS series, In the Life, that primarily focused on LGBTQ issues where her fans would find comfort in Leslie Gore. Expressing, even after coming out, her dynamic with her fans was fascinating. The song You Don't Owe Me represented courage. Songwriter Madeira explains how the song is about all the ways in which systems of patriarchy continue to reveal themselves in every day lives. Cleverly, the song is made up of entirely a declarative sentences. There are no ellipses nor no question marks whatsoever. You are able to feel Leslie Gore's vocals rap with her very passion for the lyrics. You Don't Owe Me continues to be a symbol of feminism and women's rights, an anthem for the Me Too movement, and also appearing in films such as The First Wives Club and Suicide Squad. That took on a whole new meaning for the younger generations. Leslie Gore passed away in New York at the age of 68. The legacy of You Don't Owe Me, recognized for activism, a symbol for women's rights, and the voice for marriage equality and reproductive rights. An anthem for LGBTQ and women around the globe encouraging independency. Leslie Gore's main objective was to live a life on her terms and being truthful to herself. 